The Sermon on the Mount has a roughly chiastic structure. That means that the first section corresponds to the last section, the second section corresponds to the next last section, and so on, until you get to a middle section. Jesus mentions the Law and the Prophets at the beginning of the, of the sermon. He mentions the Law and the Prophets again at the end of the sermon. He talks about hypocrites at the beginning of chapter 6, and he returns to the theme of hypocrites at the beginning of chapter 7. And we lay out this chiasm, and see this chiasm in the Sermon on the Mount. The section at the end of the last half of chapter 6 is the central section of the entire, of the entire sermon. That's the section where Jesus talks about uh, seeking the kingdom above all and uh, trusting the Father to uh, provide everything that we need. Uh, it's the place where Jesus talks about our relationship with wealth. He talks about the contrast between uh, money, serving money and serving God and how those two things are incompatible. He talks about uh, storing up treasure in heaven rather than treasure on earth. Through most of the sermon, Jesus is taking the role of Moses. Standing on a mountain, he's talking about the law. But here at the center of the sermon, he becomes more like a Solomon, giving wisdom advice, talking about two ways of life, and commending the way of the kingdom. The reason why this section is at the center of the Sermon on the Mount is because this is the section that not only invites us and instructs us and, and exhorts us, commands us to seek the kingdom, but also gives us the assurance that our Father will care for us as we do that. It's the, kind, it's the theology that we need to carry out the commandments of Jesus. It's not just a matter of a moralism or wisdom, it's a matter of understanding that our Father governs our world, our Father takes care of us, and we can seek and pursue the kingdom, at, uh, even enduring loss, for the sake of the kingdom, because our, uh, we know our Father will reward us and He'll repay us.